When you're in the middle of a sewing project and you're on a roll, sometimes pinning can just take too long. Here's my secret. Glue. Hi, I'm Galen and I'm an impatient seamstress. Impatient is code word for lazy. I'm always looking for ways to make things faster and easier. Today I'm going to share with you my love for glue. I know that when you're sewing, pinning is the tried and true method of keeping your seams tidy. And if I'm quilting, I definitely pin. Some. Not that often. I really just pin when I need to like make a sharp point. But for my craft sewing and sewing handbags in particular, I glue tack almost everything instead of pinning. It's much easier. Now the glue I prefer is Fabri-Tac. It's now called Fabri-Fix. There are lots of glues you can use. This is a permanent hold glue, and what I like about it most is that it grabs immediately. I don't like to wait, so I can just, I'll show you, but I can just tack this and then go directly to my sewing machine. It's fabulous. If you have seams that you're going to need to press open, gluing is not a good option for you. For everything else though, let loose. So the two things I'm going to show you gluing today is if I'm gluing, as if I'm gluing, craft text to a fabric strap, because you can't pin craft text anyway, and the wonder clips you can have, but they always just kind of get in my way. And I'm going to show you how to use glue when you're um, sewing on the outside of the lining to a zipper, because that's kind of the hardest thing I find is to pin anyway. So for sewing the craft, the gluing the craft text to the strap, you only need a little bit. One thing I do with my glue, I always keep the bottle sideways or upside down on a mug, because then I don't have to wait for it to come to the tip. And I always have little scraps of fabric handy so that when I glue, I can just grab one and wipe off the tip before we put in the lid back on. So I have these handy and I have my piece. So I'm going to open up my glue and I'm just going to use a look. See, so you now look, it's stringy. So just in case, I'm going to wipe up everything and just put a little teeny dot every few inches. I'm going to do it on both sides because I'm going to be top stitching down the two sides put the lid back on. I'm going to turn this over, position it, and press it down. That's it. It's stuck. I'm ready to go take it to the machine. I could pull this off. I could do it right now. I could also pull it off in a half an hour, but it will definitely leave a mark. So really be, be uh, committed when you're going to glue. So here's the example where I glued a little craft text to the strap fabric. And I'm just going to top stitch down the edge to show you that. So I used a blind stitch foot so I can get my top stitching super straight. And I'm going to go. The glue holds it perfectly stable. The next example I have is a zipper. So I'm going to, instead of having to put my top fabric on and baste it in place and then put my lining on, I'm going to glue these both down at the same time so I can just go stitch it on. I think this is a new bottle of glue, so it's kind of squirting out a little more than I would normally. I'm just going to do a little few dots of the glue down the edge. And I'm going to put the lid back on. And lay my fabric on top, right on the edge, and just give it a little press. That's good to go. So I'm going to turn it over, and here's my lining. I'm going to match up the edges when I glue it down. So I know where that glue needs to go. Just a couple of quick little dots right near the edge. And line up my edges. Get a little press down. And it's ready to go. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch it down. So you can use a zipper foot if you want. I find, find zipper feet really awkward, so if I can avoid it, I do. So in this instance, I'm just using my regular foot. I am going to use the inside of this as the guide, and so I'm going to move my needle about a quarter inch away from this edge. So I can just stitch. So it's all glued down, and it's good to go. So unless you need to press your seams open, I say give glue a chance. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and come back later for more tips from the Impatient Seamstress.